Welcome back, everyone, to Drunk Mon. Butters has left because he was very ashamed that I made a dick sucking joke involving him. I was impressed by their kindness and generosity towards strangers, so I'd like to talk. Wait, what's going on? I don't want to follow you. What is. No, stop. Okay, this is, this is when the speed up button comes in handy. This is the contest hall. Please do go inside. Bite me. Bite me, man. I gotta go to a Pokemon Center. You know what the funniest sound like to describe masturbation is? Is fap. Fap, 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 fap. Fap, 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 fap. Fap, 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 fap. It's just funny. I also noticed, like, the longer I record, the more I rely on, um... Sex for jokes. Sex jokes. I guess because everyone finds sex jokes hilarious. I do. Do you? Yeah, sure. I find sex jokes mighty hilarious. What is this? What is it? What is that? What does that do? What is this? What is going on? I don't know. Are you don't done with your beer yet? Hold on. What is this? I'm confused. What's this park? You know, you're gonna walk around with your poker man. Wait, what? Apparently, you get to go stroll with KFC. Is that it? We're gonna just like stroll around, hide it in. Looks this... like it's a play park for Pokemon Castle. You guys just went in there and did it. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't fuck KFC. I would never fuck KFC. <laughs> you would just it's eat KFC. And, it's crispy and delicious. I'd just eat it. <laughs> did you finish your beer? What? Did you finish your beer? Of course. How close are you to finishing your beer? I'm almost done. Do you, do you want to just like quick finish them so we can open the new ones? Okay. Don, hit me. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Are you not feeling buzzed? Ever so slightly. I know I am too. But not a lot. All right. This is the most I've drank in a while. I'm not gonna lie. One this is beer. why. Okay, the original. What? The one beer. <laughs> the <laughs> the one beer. I've had that. That's true. Yeah. I put I think, a lot of vodka in mine. What was the last time I drank? Like, when was the... Okay. Probably last time I was here. It's the last time I really drank. All right. So, when was the best time you've gotten drunk? The best time? Yeah. Okay, so, hold on. While you're thinking. The reason why this is called Drunk Mind, guys, after, like, 15 plus episodes right now, is not because of us reviewing alcohol. That's just, like... That was, like, a motivation for me to get Joshua to... to co-host this. Spoiler alert. Uh, yeah. And... <laughs> Um, we did it because, like, we would be drinking throughout the whole playthrough and then slowly get drunk. You see how that works? We have fun conversations when we drink. Yeah, I know. And that's why it's called Drunk Mind, because it's a water cooler thing. It basically is what it is. Yeah, anyway, okay, sorry, what you're saying? Uh, God, I am feeling it now. Okay, you were asking best time being drunk. Yeah, okay, do you remember what we were doing here? We just beat the gym later, we gotta go somewhere else. Did I heal? Probably not. I did. Oh, you did heal. I did. We have 69 HP. On who? Cappy. God, Cappy. Oh, it's 68. Oh, God. Damn it. Freudian, Freudian slip. Freudian vision. F Freudian slip. Everything had Freudian vision. So Everything is, a, is penises and vaginas is and a, boobs. Is a Freudian slip just like something you thought you thought? Basically. Although it kind of originates in, like, accidentally saying something sexual because Freud thinks everybody like secretly wants to have sex with their like mom oh. like some weird weird stuff like that but it's been kind of like the phrase has been extended to like Thanks when you say something that you were subconsciously thinking but didn't intend to say oh okay that's what I thought it was but I wasn't sure yeah anyway hey, sorry do you want to pick a beer first and review it or do you want to go with best time you were drunk best time you were drunk story best I asked that first drunk story <sighs> Like the, the, you can remember having most time, the most fun. The most fun while drunk. Or I, don't, I don't, it doesn't have to be most fun, or like when you just were like, you're like, oh yeah, this is great. I, 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 mm, I'd, I'd say the one time that like sticks out a lot to me was the time you and I drank the fifth of the sour apple pucker in this room. Oh, that was fucking awful. That, it was, but it was fun, because that, that fireplace was going and we were sitting over there and we were just like passing the bottle and drinking it for like hours. Oh yeah, we were just like talking. Yeah, yeah. that was fun. Oh, love. Ow. Sucked ass in the morning. My but... shoulder. Ow. God, yeah, that so was. So much sugar. That was like right after Butters here turned 21. 
Yeah, shortly there. So you would always bring like alcohol over here because I was not yet 21. Right. And, oh god, and I can never drink pucker again. I can, but I wouldn't drink very much of it. Because I ended up, I ended up puking because sugar does mm. not go well with my body. I felt like puking, but I just like slept for like forever and then I just kind of like slowly, I was like, all right, I think I can move now without dying. Remember that one time, uh, we like drank a lot of wine here and I had to go to work. And then you slept here. I and, slept and I was asleep when you got back. And I was like, fuck. Because you went, you went to work at Recycle It thing for like four hours or whatever. Yeah, like it was. I think it was five because it was like nine to one. Yeah, we we uh, we had a box of wine. I think it was. Yeah, and we drank a lot of wine. Because in the box of wine, there's like uh, almost a gallon of wine. I think. Yeah, there's like five that. bottles at least. Because there's a comparison chart on the back. There is a comparison chart. There's a lot of wine in them, and we drank quite a bit of it. God, when do when do review wine? I don't know if I can like sit through drinking that much wine. No, just like a cup. I mean, like yeah, like we can crack a bottle and like pour a little cup each, but then yeah. we have all these unused wine bottles. I know we'd like drink it eventually. I guess. But have you seen my liquor? I have seen your your liquor selection. Yeah, it's slowly growing. Slowly. I'd try to grow one, but my wife would just drink it all. It's not kind of sad. A little bit. Yeah, she would too. <laughs> yup. Uh. Okay. Yeah. No, I think we were playing League when we were drinking wine. Were we? We were playing some computer game. I remember having my laptop over. Well, you always had your laptop over. I know, but we were playing a game, and I feel like during that time we were playing League a lot. Was it League or... Really? It would either have to been that or, like, Skyrim or... Was it Skyrim? Maybe. I can't really remember for sure what we were playing, but we were playing a game. But I want to say League. Okay, to be completely honest, are you just like okay? So, okay, how do I how do I word this? <laughs> it's kind of a weird thing to word. So like, I'm only recording this show just to like drink and talk to you, so I don't give a shit about who is leveling up. I don't either. I'm just like kind of just fucking. I've just hit been it. walking through things and like hitting A. So I don't really care about this game. I'm just I, doing I this to either. like drink with butters over here. Right. And we might as well fucking record it. We've had some pretty good conversations while we were fucking gone. <laughs> well, when you get fucking butters drunk, thing. oh my god, like, uh, IRL. IRL. Butters here god, is... Somebody didn't turn their phone off. I did, didn't I? No, that was Where's all... my phone? That was all you. That's because it's my email blowing up. Ah. Um, Butters here does not talk to most people. Would you say that is correct? That's correct. Most people are assholes, and I don't care to talk to them. Yeah, but like, like for example, if like sober, Butters and Butters will talk a lot with me, at least, because we've known each other way too long. Right. How trippy is that? It's a little trippy. Anyway. God, isn't that weird to think about how old we are? I don't want to think about it anymore. Oh. Um, stop thinking. Ooh, a Ralts! Let's get it! We can get a Gardevoir, man! Why do we have so many psychic types we aren't gonna Why use? not? Oh, I killed it. Thank Fuck. God. <laughs> Damn it. We still have that Metacham sitting around that we what haven't touched. What Metacham? Oh. Thumbs. <laughs> Thumbs? Uh, I was just gonna ask who named that, then I realized the that likely person you. would be me. You, Mr. Heartburn. Um, anyway... Oh, look at this. Oh, what's going on? Give me that good rod. Look okay. at that good rod. He just gave you that rod. If we fish right now, what do you think it's going to be? A magic carp. Are you sure? Are oh, you... yeah. I'm thinking a goldine. Uh, it could be, but I'm going to I'm gonna go You're going to bank carp. on the magic carp? I'm banking on the magic carp. Are you banking on the magic carp? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm banking on the fucking goldine. Did you know you can catch items in sun and moon while fishing? Yeah. Okay. Magic oh, carp. You're right. Should also, we... they... it evolves if we level it. One level. Okay. Switch. Yeah, switch into something weak, like not Rift, because he's electric. KFC. Or, yeah, KFC. KFC's not weak. What are you trying to say? <laughs> Compared to the Pokemon, we can, we can just run through this with a Gyarados. We'll be fine. That'd be awesome. That the first ever Pokemon good. I got to level 100 was a Gyarados, and it learned, and it knew Waterfall, Surf, Strength, and then fucking, like, Hyper Beam. Which gen was this, though? It was uh, Gen 2. See, that's, those are pretty powerful moves for Gen 2. Yo, the animation for Gen 2, Strength, where like he picks up a the chunk of rock and throws it. it, it's fucking awesome. That's kind of cool. 
That always made me think it was a rock type move, though. And I yeah, was like, I know. Like, What's up? Animations are trippy like that. Anyway, you were speaking you about getting me drunk and talking and me not oh, talking yeah, yeah, yeah. otherwise. Yeah, Butters doesn't like to talk a lot, and which is cool and all. But, like, he'll, like, with me sober, he'll talk a lot. But, like, if you get, like, fucking Butters with, like, other people and, like, super drunk, it's hilarious. Like, I remember one time when, uh... It was, like, the first time, like, one of the, like, it was the summer that we first moved in together, so it was, like, mm -hmm. you, Ashley, and I, my sister came over, and we drank, like, a lot of wine, and none of us ate. Oh, yeah, that was bad. Yeah, and then Josh would, like, you know, would, you know, would, like, just, like, talk, like, throw an input. Of conscience. Yeah, yeah, and then he got fucking drunk, and, like, Katie always remembers it because, like, Someone brought up religion and then a fucking tangent. It was like a 20, 30 yes. minute tangent. Yes. Of Somebody like, opened the opened the genie bottle yeah. that are in. And he fucking went off. And it was hilarious. Okay, what are we gonna name this? Koi Koi. Koi Koi? Yeah, Koi Koi. K O I. Uh, 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 uh. I've been watching Summer Wars at work. Yeah? All the time. Yo, okay, so you know what sucks about me playing movies at the video store I work at? Is that when I start playing the movie, somebody wants it. Yeah, all the people want it. Like all their copy. Because I would. Because what would happen is I would, for example, I played Pacific Rim, mm. played the store's copy. Someone rented out the other one because we have two, and then they wanted the other one, so I had to like stop mid movie. So I started bringing my own versions of the movie <laughs> because people kept renting them. Does the store not have like digital copies? No, we get oh, okay. So that's that's, that's okay. That's, 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 that's all right. Yeah, uh, I, I can't say that recording. I gotcha. Yeah, but so, uh, no. so but um, yeah, they always rented out. Like, and I told Deb this. It's my, like advertising one on one there. Yeah, I know. Like, I told Deb, I was like, yeah, Deb, my movie selection is insane. Like, it's really good because like, literally all the copies are rented out. Like, I played World War Z one day. And all the copies were sold out, including Blu-ray. Okay, well, World War Z is a good one to watch. Yeah, it's like, I think we have like... Pacific Rim, on the other hand, three none copies. of them should have bothered. Yeah, but Pacific Rim's good. If you like, like, super over-the-top monster movies. Yeah, if you end up working there, you're gonna, like, have to deal with my shitty movies. That's alright. <laughs> That's alright. I'll just ignore them. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so beers. Oh, yeah. You said you didn't want to try the one I've already tried. No, no, no. I, I want to try the one you tried, so okay. you try the new one. Alright, so. We'll start with yours. We're in a fucking double barrel, did you know that? Ah, uh, sure. This is the one I've had before. This is from the New Holland Brewing Company here in Michigan. This is their Poet. It's an oatmeal stout. Uh, I believe I mentioned 5.8%. Oats brings a creaminess and soft mouthfeel to rich roasty malt character. Alright, quit like cool fact about this game. Hold on. You have to pair this with mushrooms. Beef, soft ripened cheeses, and chocolate. Okay, does that shit actually... Okay, pause before I answer that. Okay. Or you answer that. Fun fact. So these vents mm -hmm. are vents for the underground, right. below where you go under. Right. Isn't that kind of trippy that like there's like essentially two like worlds maps. on top of each yeah. other? That's like looking at like some of the history of like New York and London and having like these underground backfilled like city areas yo okay so like did you oh yeah you watched it with us when we watched as above so below maybe where it was like below london or paris yeah in the yeah. tunnels and so, mm -hmm. how weird is that it's super weird but it's like super common in like the cities over there and even like i think new york has some of that just really like, yeah just places that have been abandoned due to whatever uh -huh. reason and Isn't built that over so weird it, it's it's kind of cool it is kind of cool it's just like kind of creepy anyway you wanted to talk about the pairings yeah, yeah. So, like, do you think that shit actually works? Like, is it legit? Basically, all I think it is is a listing of things that they think taste good with it. Like, they based think or, like, what's proven in testing? They think, based on... Because, um... Mm -hmm. I don't think they actually go through any... Like, you have... I think it's the SCAA, which is, like... That's, like, the... The Coffee Association uh -huh. that, like, dubs all these rules and stuff. Obviously different than, like, the beer thing, but... Wait, what's it called? At SCAA, I think it is. Uh -huh. um, don't quote me on that. Anyway, I don't think it's done by uh, by any sort of like group. Usually, at least in the coffee world, my understanding is like, ouch. Um, when they do like a new thing, they will have professional roasters and tasters that like either work for them or they contract that'll like write this up after 
Oh, so like it is like from a testing. Of yeah, what, but not like. not from anything like super official. Obviously, mean, it's, it's taste. It's like super subjective. Uh huh. But yeah, like somebody d- goes out of their way to do this. They don't just like slap it on there. Oh. But you're gonna get the same kind of things for like the same kind of beers and coffees and what have you, to my understanding, because they usually taste similar. So are there coffees that recommend pairings? Yes. Like what? Mm, I can't tell you off the top of my head. Um. Let's see if I can find one. Mm-hmm. God, I need another either or either. Is it either or either? Uh, it could be either one. I mean, either <laughs> one. Either one. Either <laughs> one. Either. I don't know. Uh, my guess is it's probably ether. Oh my god, do you want one? Want one? Want a rosé, Leah? Yeah. yeah, they're all right. I don't want Why one. Why did I send up Rihanna? He's just going to get his ass kicked. She. She. Is Rihanna? No, Rihanna's a guy. Why do we name it Rihanna? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We, we went over that in our episode. They remember. I don't, but I remember going over this. Oh, really? Yeah, we were like, we're going to name it Rihanna anyway. Okay, so this, this particular coffee uh, place doesn't, but there's a place out of Montana that roasts coffee called Redbird Espresso, which has, like, some super good coffees. Uh-huh. Uh, if, you, if you like coffee, go, go get some from them. Um, but they, they don't have that, but they have, like, recommended brewing things, like 25 to 33 second shot for this espresso brew. Uh, at 198 to 201 degrees Fahrenheit. And then there's like how to like dose it, because this is an espresso. Also works well in AeroPress, pour over French press and auto drip. But it's specifically their espresso blend. Yo, espresso, so good. So good. I my espresso machine is out of commission because I need that stupid solar coil. Wait, when did that happen? Um I'll say in just a second. See if I can find another uh, one. God okay, damn, yeah, this Australia is fucking murdering. These particular everything. ones don't have uh, don't have pairings. Anyway, um, I went to go use my espresso maker, um, my espresso machine, sh- sh- a couple months back. Got it. What are we gonna name it? And it, uh, um, Yvonne? No, no, no. Why would I recommend such a thing? Rosie. God, someone crucify me. I now. got it. Okay. Oh, you spell Rosie that way? No, but oh. that's how I'm gonna spell it. Oh, okay. Isn't that weird that you can spell things different ways? The funny thing is when people go out of their way to make spellings unique, like, you you know, I, I'm now, as of like a couple days ago, a, an uncle, and they went out of their way to name their kid, like, a, a super, uh, super obscure spelling of like, what should be an obvious spelling name. What is it? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember your nephew's name? Nope. Or niece? Niece? You don't know the gen- nice. the sex? Pretty sure it's a girl. Brin- have you, have Brinley. You, the name is Brinley. Have you seen it? I've seen photos. I don't have any on me. Uh, we're gonna go here. Pretty sure it's a girl, and I know for a fact the name is Brinley. But it's not spelled like B-R-I-N-L-E-Y, like you would think. Uh-huh. I don't know what the spelling is. I just know it's not that. They probably didn't know how to spell it. <laughs> That's how that works. You know that. <laughs> Okay, I could see him not knowing that, but I feel like she would know that. Wait, is she smart? Fairly. She, uh, she has a... A GED? (laughs) (laughs) Ouch! (laughs) I'm sorry! Oh, Oh, God, that was really mean! That was really mean. No, she she was, uh, prior to, uh, giving birth, she was, uh, either teaching assistant or... For elementary age something. I don't remember if she had, like, a teaching certificate or not, but... she at least had something up there. Uh-huh. Anyway, the, yeah. Okay. Um, hold on. Okay, espresso machine. Um, yeah. Right, I will finish we'll, the espresso machine, because we got to do next and episode. Then, and then we'll, we'll, I guess we'll taste these beers next episode. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so espresso machine story. I pulled it out. Um, it's got a three-way solenoid, which basically what it does is water comes out of the boiler into the espresso cup, and then the extra water gets released out if there's too uh-huh. much pressure or when I'm done with the shot. Uh-huh. So what happens is the solenoid is naturally closed, so water doesn't go anywhere. And when you put an electrical charge through the solenoid, it opens, water can come through to pull the shot, and then the excess goes out into the drip tray. Yes. Except the solenoid coil for some reason died, and so when you go to brew, nothing comes out of the group head and nothing comes out. It just stays in the boiler. Oh, damn. Yeah, so it doesn't work. Um, Problem is, 
it's uh, it's made in Italy, uh-huh. and so most of the coils are made for 220 volt electrical. Uh-huh. America uses the 110 volt. We're like the only country that does it. And Why? The- because I hate how we try to be different so much. Yeah, we, we screw it up pretty good. Between that and the metric system. Fuck that, I know. That, that irritates me. It's so stupid. Anyway, we'll save the metric system for next episode. God damn. And so, like, I can find the, the part for a 220 volt system for like 20, 25 bucks. But to find the 110 volt, there's like very few places and it's upwards of 50 bucks for the part. Jesus. On a machine I paid like... I got it used pretty cheap. I paid like 150 bucks for it way back when. But it's like, that's like paying the third of the price of what I paid for the machine just to get it fixed. So I haven't touched it yet. Where did you get it at? I bought it on eBay. eBay. Well, no, I take that back. I didn't buy it on eBay. Uh, It's a Gaggia machine. And so I bought it on a... uh, A A Gaggia (laughs) blur. Close, but no. But no. uh, Spelled differently. G A G G I A. Gajian. Gajia. 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 Ooh, Steel Wing, yeah, nice. Ooh, Steel Wing, nice. Yeah, it, I actually bought it on a Gajia user forum from uh-huh. some person who was selling theirs. A Gajian flo- a forum? Forum. For like espresso machines? Specifically for this brand of espresso machines. Damn! Yes. So we're gonna do this, switch out Magic Carb. So not only did I get like a nice cheap bit, my nice machine at a good price, I got it from somebody who was like an enthusiast and like cared about their machine and That's like took awesome. care of it. Oh god, that thing just got fucked. Oh wow, it did. Rosie, go. No, I bought that thing like. Did I buy that before or during when we moved in? No, we. You no, know, you bought it because you bought it after you went. You did your Hayworth right. refund thing. Oh, uh, that's right. I remember that because like you. No, is that when I, I bought the drip the drip machine with that? You bought the. I was with you when you bought. I was living with you when you bought the machine. Because you never, machine? yeah, you never had it when you okay. were living okay. at home. Oh, I thought that would evolve magic card. So yeah, it's it's about two years. I've had it for about two years now, I think. Just in case double battles happen. Just in case. Oh. Anyway, fuck. so next episode, find out how we fare against our opponent. I fare against butters. Blah blah blah. God, my shoulder, like Jesus, man. Mm. Ah, it fucking hurts. It's like, it makes my body, you know when you feel sore when you have like and the you, cold? Yep, and you just got muscle fatigue. And yeah, that's all what it fucking feels like. And it's like yep. affecting like my brain.